extra, extra, always extra, extra. Aquarius, this is all about you. We're going to do a full oracle card energy reading. So it's not a horoscope what we do on YouTube. Um, it is an energy reading. So wherever Aquarius energy influences your natal chart or influences your life, you can apply these energies. Um, no dates anymore on the videos because people don't care about them. And hey, you're right. It comes to you when it's supposed to. But I do create a brand new Aquarius video every single week. So Aquarius, um, if you want them fresh off the press, please ring the bell if you're already subscribed or if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. You'll help the channel grow and you'll also be able to ring that bell so you get notifications of when your favorite con content uploads. Uh, there's always an extended reading. And what the extended reading does is it specifies. It goes into specifics. It goes into details. I use full tarot. So it'll give us the full gamut of the players involved in the energies uh, and also includes a romance reading and there's always a romantic tarot too so check that out as well Aquarius let's get into your energy Aquarius 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 listen it is not every zodiac sign that has a musical around it all right we got to use that to our advantage. I'm sure that you're sick of it. I'm sure. But it's so cool, man. Come on, man. The age of Aquarius is upon us. And I'm sure you've listened to all the astrologers telling you how that is going to change us. Well, change us in a necessary way. It's already starting to change us. Bring us into awareness of how to take care of each other and not just ourselves. That's essentially, the, I think, the broadest in the broadest sense, what Aquarius energy teaches us. It's a house of friendship. It's a house of humanitarianism. It's the house of um, taking care of each other. Set healthy boundaries. All right, okay. So crowning your energy is set healthy boundaries. Um, this is a surprise. Because the truth is, you usually, ah, uh, okay. So, remaining aloof does seem to work for you most of the time, but it's not working right now. There is a sense of, this is a moment and this is a time. It's almost like using your aloofness and using your air, your airiness as a defense, but it's like, too far up, too far away, too high, too aerial perspective, and that's actually becoming a great deal of a burden. A sense of you want to feel, you want to be open. This is Cancerian energy. Cancerian energy is loving, unconditional love, near the home, near the heart. Who are you guarding your heart from? That's I think that that's my blatant question is who are you guarding your heart from? What are you on the defensive defensiveness about? And by defensiveness, I just mean, what are you trying to protect yourself from? It's like you're still inquiring, looking, watching, waiting, but oh my God, Aquarius, I don't want you to disappear as you do it. I don't want you to blend into the wall. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I think sometimes you can become so guarded. You forget how you don't, you, be, you become, you lose awareness of just how much you're shutting down and how much you're shutting yourself out of because it's that vulnerability that allows us to be loved. And you do. I know you want that deep connection with somebody. I know you want that best friend that you can lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta watch how much I swear on here, but you know what I'm trying to say. Like, it's like th that best friend that you can have lots of great sex with. I know that you want that con connection, right? And that's why there's such a heavy burden here. Look at his sweet little tender eyes under that heavy, 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 heavy shell, guarding yourself, protecting yourself. What do you need protection from? What are you guarding yourself from? What are you protecting yourself from? Stepping out or what <sighs> Aquarius You've been tapped. You've been asked to do something by spirit. You know darn well what you're supposed to do. You know darn well that you're supposed to take this leap forward, this leap of faith. This is an energy that says you know exactly what you're meant to do. You've been given the message. Why are you stubbornly fighting it? Why are you resisting emotional fear? Fear of being emotionally vulnerable is holding you back from what spirit has asked you to do. 
Now you are very spiritually aligned and I know that you want to do the best for the world, but this is the personal level. And interestingly enough, how we help the world starts with how we treat ourselves, right? It, it's, it's, we, it starts here, this little thing, this little person right here, the you, the singularity that is, that is you, is um, the most honest reflection of the universe that we create. So if we're blocking ourselves personally from love and from connection, then also we're reflecting that upon the world. It's like, how can we heal the world if we don't trust it ourselves? That kind of energy is like, it's like you're, you're almost being defensive. I can hear you almost having an argument with spirit right now, being like, prove to me that it's going to be okay, but spirit doesn't have to prove anything. And this is not about how you treat others. This is about what you're, what you're guarding yourself from. It's almost like you know what spirit wants you to do, but you don't want to do it because emotionally it frightens you. Watch and wait. This is Piscean energy. This is father energy, an energy of a nurturing, caring, loving Piscean father of an emotional sort of feminine masculine, that kind of energy of a nurturing dad. That's what seahorses are. Right? That father nurturer. That protecting people through nurturing them. It's also patience. It's like, it's like you've gotten, you've, you've gotten very, very comfortable, Aquarius. You've gotten very, very comfortable observing from afar. You feel safe, emotionally safe keeping at a distance and just watching everything play out and not participating. A rebirth is assured. Come out of the dark. Why are you hiding yourself in the dark? It's okay. It's like, it's okay to be that objective observer for a while, but this is a sense of it's time. And I think that you know that already. You know that it's time to come out, to announce. You know that the, the change is here. The change has to happen. It wants to happen. You Inside, you can hear the tick. You can hear the clock. It's, it, it, you, you, there's no question. There's no question. You're certain, but you're resistant. It's destined to happen. Letting go of the past. Something is still haunting you. The past is still haunting your future. It's threatening your ability to focus entirely on what's in front of you. There's a shadow or a ghost from the past. Could be Scorpio, could be Pisces. It's like if something doesn't work out, you take it as a personal... Um, you take it as like, almost like a, a personal, like, what did I do wrong or inadequacy, even though you don't admit that on the surface, there is always that question. This is a shadow or a haunting from the past, just sort of looming there in the background. And all you want is to be able to look forward. You got to confront the skeleton. You got to confront, do you see the skeleton outline? You got to confront the skeleton. Right now, you're trying to, you're, fo you're future fo focused, but your futures, you're, you're going you're gonna to bring that energy into the future with you if you don't look at it and address it and there could be somebody's trying to come come at you from the past i feel like that's what i read in your a romantic tarot check that out somebody almost sucking you back into this old place that you were in you got to confront it it's the only way to to like literally get rid of it is to confront it and burn it down. 
It's like somebody's just emerging from the path. The some, somebody's just emerging out of the dark all of a sudden. Somebody who was watching, somebody who was waiting, somebody who was looking. It's their problem, not yours. Just because they come back doesn't mean you have to want them. But the thing about them, and I remember your romantic tarot reading, go check it out. The thing about this person is that whether you like it or not, and even though you may know that they don't deserve it, you still love them. Which is why you have to confront the circumstance. Nothing is wasted. This is finding treasure in a trash heap. But it's it basically read it exactly literally because this is your central energy here. Is seeing the value in this moment. Is seeing that you know what? You didn't waste your time. Just because things didn't work out, you didn't waste your time. Finding this, this beautiful moment to understand, hey, I have an opportunity here. I have an opportunity to learn, to grow, to nurture myself. This is higher perspective. Teaching others how to use opportunities like this to advance yourself and become stronger. Let, let everybody else think what they will about me. I'm going to use what I have in front of me and I'm going to use it to the best of my capabilities. Well, this is part of what you have in front of you. Don't ignore it. What you have in front of you is what was behind you. Address it because this is a tool to help you out for the future. Sing your own song. This is your opportunity to stick up for yourself. This is your opportunity to say what you always needed to say that you didn't get a chance to say. To their face, not behind their back or talking randomly. No, no, no. To their face. There were words left unsaid. This is Gemini energy, which means it's one-on-one -on -one communication. Putting into words those things that were hard for you to say. You didn't know how to say it back then. It was too emotional. But now you've had enough perspective. You've looked back. You've gotten a chance to review. You've gotten a chance to be comfortable with what happened. And you can stick up for yourself now. That's your opportunity. That's the treasure in the trash heap. Is that now this is your chance to say whatever you needed to say. And to be strong and to be on your own side when you do it. You've, you've been able to take all of those emotions that were probably overwhelming at the time and turn them into just tangible communications. Like communications that are easy to understand. Like th this is you being able to finally, you're going to get that chance. Finally get the chance to sing your own praises. That confuses me. So we're going back. Finally getting the chance. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. There you go. You're landing on your feet. This is claim your independence. This is your chance to claim your independence from these haunts from the past. And to be able to this time not be flattened, but to land on your feet. You're getting a second chance. You're getting a second chance to be on top. To reclaim everything that you are and land on your feet this time. Because there's still a sense of feeling like you, you messed up. Or feeling embarrassed or feeling ashamed or feeling diminished somehow, this is your chance to redo in a way that you land on your feet and feel good about yourself. And what you're claiming your independence from is those haunts, those ghosts from the past. You're, you're allowing them to be put away, to put asleep, you know, put in a place where they can't influence or affect your future. This is fire energy. You're moving forward now. Good things are coming your way. Taurus energy. Resources. You have an abundance of resources. You're happy. Like you got the food you want to eat. You got the money in the bank. 3D resources are solid right now, Aquarius. That's not the issue. The issue is how you feel compromised. 
And finally, the resources are coming to you to be able to, that one thing that you feel compromised by, be able to confront it so you have everything. Time for a beginner mindset. This is definitely the ener your energy. Walking into the room with your swords out, letting people see, like brandishing your swords because you've never been in this space before. You're, you're defensive. That's what it is. There's a defensiveness here. Using your communications, using your words, maybe harshly. Just ready to attack, letting everybody know. But that's because you're new here. You're new to this place. You may be protecting yourself from actually being vulnerable again. This is your grounding energy. Awakening. A new beginning. This is new, newness. You're scared. You're scared to fly. You're scared of the transformation, of becoming something different, of becoming something new. Something in you is still holding you back. You're a fixed sign. So as, out, as, as outside of the box as you are, you still like to feel the earth under your feet. As much air as you are, you still like to feel it connected to the ground. Like you will stay, you will hang. It's like your fog. That's what it is. Head in the clouds, but it stays, it's heavier. Like you're fixed. You don't, you don't love the idea of change. And yet you do, you love the idea of change. You see how beautiful it is, but, but for it to happen to you, ugh, it's frightening. You know, it's inevitable. You know, it's, I, I just, it's so beautiful. What's on the other side of this fear. And I know that you know that. I'm just wondering what I can say to encourage you to spread your wings because this circumstance and situation wants to bloom. It's ready. This is the time. Uh, life is speeding up. This is more Gemini energy. Communications are coming in. What I say, what's going to help you transcend and move on is finally being able to say what needs to be said. It's those words. It's sticking up for yourself. It's defending yourself. It's getting on your own side. Maybe it's you being the one to dump them. But it could also be in some cases, this connection, this communication that needed to happen. You, honest to God, you needed to hear from them again. Because you don't love easily, but when you do, you usually love forever. So this is what the challenge is right now. It could actually very well be helping you that they're even just back in your life again. You're guarded, but you love the fact that they're close. Hold on, let me flip the camera angle around. Okay, you hear my stomach. In other words, your transition is happening very quickly. You're going from being guarded, being, being new, being defensive, to expanding, growing, and then foosh, taking off. I just, I, I just feel like you need this connection with this person. There's a person here. There's just a specific energy here that you were, you hate. It's like part of you hated not being able to talk to them. There's such a sense of beauty and abundance right now. And you know what you need to do. You absolutely are certain. Let's go into the, um, I, I want Tara to uh, refine all of this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just dig out more information. Uh, meet me over in the extended. Also, of course, there's the romance reading. Let's get more details. I want to know what's going to come out of this situation. I'll see you over there, Aquarius.